Hi there, we're out in the African bush here in Mpumalanga to show you another one of our products today. And the product we'd like to introduce is the Blade, but it's the Blade 40th Edition. Now the reason why this is called the Blade 40th Edition, or we've called this the Blade 40th Edition, is that Easy Worn in 2023 is 40 years old. And that's a big thank you to all our distributors and all our supporters and all our customers that have supported us over these last 40 years. So what we did is the Blade isn't a new product. So at the moment, we've obviously, we've got the Stealth and we've got the Blade and that is are, are very well established. And we've also got the Sword, which is our family orientated thing. But this tent is to celebrate our 40 years of existence. Over the last five years, we just made notes of what customers thought they would like on the Blade. And that's the reason why the blade 40th has come out and we'll just run through today on the little different connotations that the tent has compared to the standard blade now the blade the normal blade has been used by avid travelers and enthusiasts around the world adventure enthusiasts around the world so this doesn't replace the normal blade because the normal blade is 74 kilogram and the blade 40th edition weighs a little bit more it comes in at 82 kilograms which isn't bad which isn't bad but if you still want a very good quality tint at 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 the very light weight then obviously the blend the normal blade would be the one to look at but we'll run through today on why this tent is so different and what it makes what makes it so nice we redesigned the latches to make them much more user friendly. It has the aluminium extruded bottom, which allows you to accommodate or to mount any sort of accessories to the M8 bolt slide into it. So it's got two grooves that allows you to mount any sort of accessories like spade brackets, axe brackets, and K9 accessories. It has a built in USB port as standard. It comes standard with two pockets or shoe bags on the outside so when you climb up your ladder you can store your shoe bag it has an extra additional ladder plate at the back of it now the k9 roof rack that comes standard with the blade 40th edition it comes with three slats and that allows you to put a solar panel on it or if you want a spade bracket or, or axe bracket or even a bicycle if you so wish it has 700 newton meters of shocks as standard, which you can, if you wanted to, you could even go stronger. But what you must realize, if you go stronger shocks, then it's always difficult, if there's nothing on the roof, then to bring the, the tent down. But if you've got some weight on the roof, there's no problem with that. You can also fill in and make it a full roof rack or a semi-full roof rack, if you'd like. And these slats have two grooves in which an M8 bolt, the standard M8 bolt slides into. So the blade is 1450 by 2.2 meters long. It's 160 millimeters in the front and it's 320 millimeters at the rear and it weighs in at 82 kilograms. The blade 40th edition comes with a 1250 mattress by 2.1 meters by 80 millimeters high density foam very nice high density 300 millimeter plus chip foam it's a very very good quality mattress people will say oh only 1250 wide now the difference between any roof tent is you can sleep to the sides and you can't fall off so that 1250 is usable space and it's a very very nice size tent for two people so yes the Blade 40th edition can accommodate awnings and the likes. Like I said, obviously it's got the two grooves in and you can mount your awning to the to the side of the tent. But it's always a good idea to have an alternative uh, bracketry that you can mount it back to the roof rack. Because should you get home from holiday and you remove the tent, that would mean that the awning would go with it. And it's always a nice thing to have the awning on its own, that you can use it on its own. Because if you're an avid outdoor person, it's, you use your awning much more than what you would use your tent. And not everybody is fortunate enough to have a dedicated vehicle that can park, can be parked in the garage or wherever, um, and only for expeditions. 
So in order to open the blade, it's very simple. All we do is we undo the two latches. And then all you've got to do is you just got to lift it up. Okay, so then what we do is we just upward board. Just to prove the ladder, it's thumped in a bag. Remove the ladder from the bag by just pulling it out. There we go. Just place this one side for now. It's always easier to work here where the, the handles are. Just undo the latches, bring them away from you. Slide the ladder up. Place the ladder locks back in their position. Bring it round, find the slot, and then all we do is we just extend it so that it's got a nice, a nice angle. And there we go. The tent has windows on either side or doors. You could call them windows or doors on each end, plus on the front. It has a privacy panel that you can zip up. Half, halfway, should you want some privacy, you can zip that up halfway. Now what we do is we run the privacy panel to the outside. Now a lot of people say, why do you run the privacy panel to the outside? And there is a reason. The reason being is that when your panel is up and should it be raining and your panel gets wet, you can roll the panel to, to the outside and what this does it prevents the water from going onto the mattress. They all come with gauze. All the doors have gauze on the inside that you can zip up and obviously completely close. Now what I like to do, is I always like to leave the gauze in the closed position when closing and opening the tent. So what that does is it lets the air out on any of the roof tents. It lets the air out, so when it closes, you haven't got that internal air trying to escape and pushing it out. So it makes the tent much, much easier to close. Now the tents can accommodate your bedding. It can You can put a fitted sheet on, you can put a pillow, two pillows, plus a, a duvet. And what you do is you pack the pillows to the high side. That's the reason why they get the high side. You pack the pillows to the high side, so when you close your tent, fits into the section that's much higher. Just grab your rods from out underneath your mattress. Bring it round. Place it in the slot at the back. Just climb up. Bring your elastics down. And then all we do is I just remove the rod. I just use one at a time. I just place it in the slider and slide it up. I just find that's easiest. Just do this the same on this side. There we go. Place the rod in the eyelet and slot it in. So the blade comes with a, a nice high quality cable and basically all you do is you would just plug it. The plug into the socket and then this you can run to if you want your cigarette lighter in your vehicle or if you've got a different access point like I have in the back of my vehicle then you just plug this into the back of your vehicle and that would then power your USB port that's standard in the Blade 40th, 40th edition and it will also power your light. The Blade 40th edition comes with the extruded bottom which allows you to mount items to it and like you can see here the, the canine spade bracket just basically just slides into it with the two M8 bolts 
you would just then have to nip those up, of course. Just tighten those up ever so slightly. And uh, there we go. We can just put the spade in. And this would work the same with the axe, the spade, bracket, the spade combo, and so forth, or any other bracket which you'd like to mount to the side of the tent. So obviously you've just woken up in the morning, and now you want to, you guys, when you want to close up the tent. So basically, it's just a matter of these elastics that you clamp together in the inside, which helps, and then you can. Close or open whichever door or window you'd like to. Like I said, it's always a good idea to leave the doors, one of the doors open at least to let the air out. So now in order to close the tent in the morning, obviously if you've got a 270 degree warning and, and you're working out the side of the tent, then all you do is remove the ladder again before you stack it away. All you do is you place it in the slot at the back. Very simple. You climb up the ladder. You remove the rods, just slot it in there and bring the sliders down, very simple. I then fake my swept, I move it to the outside that I catch all the material, I leave it like that, I climb down. And then wherever you've stored your rod bag, I like to store it here in the wheel well. You just take the rods out. Put them away. And place them back in the tank. Now what I do in order to close the ladder is remove the bag from wherever you stored it. I just I just place it on the ground. If I'm on my on my own, I bring the ladder out away from the tent. It's always a good idea to work with the handle facing you. So that way if you'd like to grab hold of the handle you can. Just slide the the ladder down and lock it with its two locks. Then if you've used the extension, should you have a vehicle that's a little bit higher than normal, it's just a matter of, it's no strength required, you just pull the two clips together and lock the extension in place. I then take the ladder, I put it on the bag, and I just walk it, walk it in ever, ever so slightly, take the bag, pull it up, Close the bag, just dust it off if there's a little bit of dust on the bottom, it always prevents it going in the tent, and put it in the tent. So in order to close the tent, all we do is we hop up here, pull down on the handle, I like to get it just about there. And I put the, the strap in, just bring it in, help it in there a little bit, and I help it in the other a little bit. Just bring it down. Ratchet it close there. And there we go, ready for your next adventure. We hope you've enjoyed this video on the Blade 40th edition. Happy camping from the Easy Haunt team.